The FDA facing an audit now over how it handled the nation's baby formula crisis. As CBS 2's Natalie Brown reports, the probe comes as the White House tries to ramp up efforts to boost supply. The Health and Human Services Inspector General will look into the FDA's handling of the Abbott infant formula recall to determine whether the agency followed the proper inspections and recall process at the Abbott facility in Michigan that's led to nationwide shortages. I don't think anyone anticipated the impact of the shutdown of one facility. During a meeting with formula manufacturers Wednesday, President Biden said he was not aware how severely the Abbott plant closure affected U.S. supply until April, about two months after the facility closed. This can't happen again. Mother of three, Lindsay Gill, has an infant who needs formula. I look at the bottle that he didn't quite finish, and I think, should I save that? Will he have enough for the morning? Gill started a nonprofit to help moms in need. Her focus lately has been organizing weekly formula drives in Washington. DC. They keep saying it could be through the end of the year, it could be through the summer. All we're doing is really just mom to mom right now, trying to help each other out. Thursday, the White House launched a new website to track federal action to get more formula on store shelves. Starting next week, shipments from the UK and Australia will deliver more than 680,000 pounds of formula products, but that's just a fraction of what the U.S. still needs. The FDA also says it expects almost 250,000 cans from the German company Nestle to be available this June and July. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And for those who want to track the Biden administration's actions on baby formula, that website is at www.whitehouse.gov formula.